Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I am currently having a poll in the community tab so you guys can let me know which video game series you would like to watch me marathon. The choices are between Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ratchet and Clank, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. So make sure you head over there and vote so you can influence the direction that this channel will take for quite some time. So with that said, let's get back to more Danganronpa V3. I don't feel like Kibo left because of the bomb, right? I think Kibo might have left because, uh... Because the Hydraulic Press said that it would automatically stop when, um... Oh no... Oh no... Oh no, Maki, no, no, no... Maki, no! <laughs> oh no... No... Damn it! What if Kaito was alive? And then when Maki threw the bomb, all electronics was disabled, and that goes for the hydraulic press so it wouldn't be able to force stop itself. If it detected a human or whatever. Oh, come on. I can't lose Maki. I can't lose Maki. I can't lose Maki and Kaito. Alright. I'm gonna inspect every single piece of evidence here. Maki. Oh no. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it. But I had to raise the press to inspect the body. There's a chance that Maki can be the culprit. Control smooth the hydraulic press. I go up and down, I should be able to use it. Alright. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter whose it is. But I have to do it. All right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. Because it was disabled for two hours. It's gonna be like this for two hours. Fuck. Press the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found. Ah. The power cord's cut? What? Okay. That's interesting. I see. There's no power. So the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, that's interesting. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Okay. But let's say that Kaito was being held under the press, right? If the power was cut, no one would be able to force it to stop. But if he was being held under it, I would assume that XSL would be holding him. But the XSL wouldn't have enough time to get away from Kaito, right? And if that was the case, then Kaito could easily just get up and move, because the press isn't fast, it's pretty slow. As we saw with Kibo earlier. Hmm. I'm honestly a little re relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some kind of clue there. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The button would be the button would have been stopped. The button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, the hydraulic press should have a safety function. If the if the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried it. And Kokichi, not Kokichi, what am I saying? Suichi was fucking dumb enough to go like, Yeah man, let's try crushing you in the pressure. 
Like, you know? Crushing you in the pressure? Is that what I just said? Crushing you in the press. That's what I meant to say. With the sensor detect the person, the safety should have stopped. The press automatically. Hmm. Stopped automatically, huh? Alright. What about the exosol? And isn't there supposed to be two of them in here? There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. Oh, there is two of them in here. There's the green one. They both kind of look green to me, but, you know. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. Hmm. So, this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh? Huh? The hatch is open. How strange. Only the monocubs can turn off the, electro the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Normally, yeah. the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exocells. Well. Normally being the keyword. Because of the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um. Because you mentioned this to someone else? Uh, because. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope. No one's asked me about it either. And even if I, even if it had been, even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyways. An electronic lock on the hatch. Which must be why the monocubs can control the access cells. But, if you can disable the lock, hmm. you can control the access cell. Alright. The red exocell is completely still. Hey, Suichi. Suichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, it might be torn apart. No. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Uh -huh. So it's just a pile of scrap then? Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Ah. Oh. But I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move in it. He could move it any time by remote. <laughs> Why did you say that sooner? That is, if Kokichi's alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the access cells, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Alright. Well, let's check the bathroom. This is the bathroom. How did I think about it? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. No, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyways, I should investigate inside. What the fuck? Was he torturing Kaito? Someone was being tortured in here. Is this poison? Uh, of course it's poison. It says it right there. Small bottle on the small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be? If it is poison, this bottle must be. Hmm taken from my lab. I don't know who bought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Maybe Kaito was getting ready to kill Kokichi? I wouldn't imagine Kokichi having his hands on a crossbow. I can imagine him dipping the crossbow arrows in poison. And maybe while he was doing it, his, uh, his sickness acted up. Cause him to cough some, cough some blood up. Or maybe he fucked up and poisoned himself somehow. Crossbow. This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? I can imagine Kaito shoveling all the parts in his coat pocket, right? So that he can assemble it on the go. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total. Are those the arrows normal colors? That 
might be the poison. Blood on uh, all of them. Um... What is this? What happened here? Three arrows. A blood stain. Put all the blood in the center of the room. And in a, <clears throat> in a sweet pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Have to check it. Okay, I guess I can't check it. I was gonna check the toilet. Anything in the sink? No? Anything up top? What about the window? Small window for ventilation. This is... The same window from before. It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well. I suppose if someone could fit through here, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Okay. Maki didn't... Maki didn't hand him anything, did she? She could have thrown the crossbow and the bolts through. Still some things to investigate. What, like the cap next to the fucking poison? Oh, it's a bag. Or a case, rather. Well, bag case, it looks the same to me. Oh, what's in the black bag over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far shelf. What's in it? Some kind of weapon? This is the case from before, right? Hmm. Alright, finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues here than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab here? The three, the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are there three? Why are they bloodied? And the bottle of poison. I love how he's like, there's one thing that really brings suspicion, and then he looks at all three things, and he's all like, hmm. Yes, I can count. I am detective. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. All right. I should probably go investigate the other XSLs too, right? Anything from the painting machine? Looks like a machine used to paint the XSLs. Okay. Looks like car wash for the XSLs. Doesn't look like it's been used. What is this, a blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A sweet pattern, as if dragged. It looks like... It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Is it possible that they both could have killed each other? Or is it possible that... Maybe somehow... I don't know. One killed the other, but at that moment of time... Fucking... Maki threw the bomb, and the press just... Stopped, or something? I don't fucking know. It's too much weird shit. Panel that controls the alarm system. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Alright. Himiko, you found anything? What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now. You might start accusing people because... Oh, come on! No. No, it's not that. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, Great, huh? I'll give you afro hair with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Are you the one who brought him the... Hmm, okay. It's an OD. 
The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, won't be much use. Jeez. So useless. Probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Alright. That's nice. It's fine, it's fine. A mascot appearance <clears throat> a mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That what is the use of this? I still don't know. Anyways, mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace to mind. <laughs> he popped out. Jeez. What an attention hog. Hmm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than the plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Um. Advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? What do I still gotta investigate? There's a trail over here. A trail over there. Bit of clothing. Yeah, I went to that earlier. I thought I can, you know, there's like a little hole in there and I kind of want to see that, but... No. But they won't let me see it. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, now he notices it. Okay. The sleeve has a single small hole in it. This is probably where an arrow got pierced or something. A hole in the sleeve. Let this be... Alright, so we should investigate the other XSLs and we should investigate the control panel outside, because that thing is busted. I suppose that's I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any I don't have any clues to work with. Hmm. I have to find more clues elsewhere. Wait, what? There's still more things in here? What the f why? XSL. I already checked the red one. Washing machine. Dummy vision, let's go. Show me what you can see. The hydraulic press itself? If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. But the power cord has been cut. In that case, you won't be able to check the body. Alright. Can I check inside the cockpit? XSL right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open. But... But only Mono Cubs can disable the hatch electronic lock, so only they can control the XSLs. But on the other hand, if you disable the lock, you can control it. That's all about all I can investigate here in the hangar. Still questions. I can still deduce... I still can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. Let's just start with the areas around the hangar. Okay, now I can leave. Alright, cool. Alright. The alarm system is off. I must still be affected by the electro bomb. All right. I should investigate the place thoroughly. There must be some clues around. All right. Out of the fucking way, Kibo. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with the electro hammer, so it is in operation right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks like it's been struck by something sharp. What could, be, what could this be? Hmm. Wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. Hmm. Maybe using weapons from Maki's room? Probably like a spear or something, right? You have to turn off the alarm before you get close. My dog just distracted the hell out of me. So, how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Alright. Kibo, 
How you feeling? Phew, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Suichi. Uh, okay. I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey. hey, Kibo. Before you went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How'd it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no reason at all. No reason? <laughs> no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um, okay over there? Go right over there? My dog is like searching around my bed. I want to make sure he's not doing anything crazy. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Ah, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the XSL returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes, you said the XSL could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Okay. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the XSL, I saw someone heading towards the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um... I saw Himiko. Alright, yep, she's the one who gave him the bag. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh, yep, there it is. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. You wrote him a fucking letter? What the hell, man? That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But... But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What... What did you see? Why? She was acting like she, she had something to hide. Not that I wanted to suspect her. You're right. True. It is suspicious. Hey! That's hella suspect, ma'am. Said you saw her come back as well. She was holding the bag. Was she holding the bag that time? Well, now that I think about it, she didn't. So, she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be that black bag Himiko was carrying was. Um. By the way, this is a little off topic, Suichi, but. Huh? Uh, what is it? As I thought. The reason I was feeling. Okay. <laughs> All right. I had to like. I had to glance at my eyes. I thought he was gonna be like, man. I was just thinking about that press. <laughs> The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electrobomb. But... But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So, what I experienced was akin to an allergy... Allergic reaction such as hay fever. Which means... So, it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Right, that must be it. So, the thing Himiko said was bothering him. Wait, what? So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Alright, Kibo. Nice chat. Wait, 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 wait. There's nothing around here, right? Nothing in the corners. I'm gonna check this window. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window. It's not possible to fit through. I knew it. This means the only way to get into the hangar is through the shutter. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna go investigate those exocells. Exocell isn't showing signs of moving. If Kokichi's alive, he can use his remote control to move them as he pleases. But the remote control Kokichi has for the exocells, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Is that gonna, is that's what he's gonna say for everything? Alright. Okay. Huh. Look at this! There's an electro hammer here, but why? Is it out of power? Must have been used. But used for what? Maki, what did you do? 
You're the only, you're the only one who didn't have your hammer. Did Kokichi take a hammer with him? I thought he only had the grenades. But be careful. The electric hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against Exocell, it'll run out of juice with only one shot. Got it? If I remember correctly. If the hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. You know that's for certain. I remember the sight I saw yesterday. Exocell's protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exocell should have been... Wait, what? Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exocell should have been around him. So, why are they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them too. Hmm. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi I ignored Monokuma. <laughs> Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Monokuma. And another thing. It's just I noticed that you came this way last night, Suichi. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? <laughs> like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. No way! But you didn't need to sneak around because the XSLs wouldn't have attacked you. You didn't need to sneak around, Kokichi, because Kokichi. I keep calling him Kokichi. You wouldn't need to sneak around, Suichi. Especially if you just went to Spencer's. They don't give a fuck who goes in the back. They're weird like that. <laughs> hey! What are you saying? You didn't have to sneak? Cause! Cause everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going there in the same. Wait! No! Not that! I mean about the XSLs not attacking us. Yeah? Oh, at that time, the XSLs were on autopilot and directed to only observing me. Hey, um. Their movements are more limited now that the model cubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exocells were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control? But they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey! Are you telling me this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. We're not talking about this or this. We're talking about this! <laughs> Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So, you shared it instead. That's why... It'll be, wait, what? Are, you're not making sense, Monica. <laughs> That's why it'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. Okay, that's all I can tell you. By the way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho! It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during set. What? <laughs> what? Who the fuck be hunting you down during sex? Besides your wife, you cheating on your wife? This information about the Exocells could be a clue to involve the game. To involve to solve the case. I should remember this. Alright, well I don't think I can think about anything else to check out. Maybe I should head to Maki's research lab. Hmm. I investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the hangar now. Alright, so there's something left here. But what could it be? Hmm. Thought the thought the dummy button would help me out, but nope, I gotta look with my own two eyes. Is it the hanger itself? Hanger shutter? What did that just put me inside if I interact with that? Alright, I guess I'll look at the shutter. The hangar shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come here, the shutter without the if you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. You had to use the electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. 
That's how we got into the hangar. It's not exactly a bomb, though. How many times am I going to see this fucking flashback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jams things. Doesn't leave the breeze. We heard it all before. 50 yards away. Uh-huh. Perfect for being sneaky. Need to use them carefully because you only got three. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs in total. One was stolen by Maki, but where's the other two? And that's all about... That's all I was concerned with. But... But I still don't have enough clues. There has to be more. The other place that might yield some clues are... Okay. Maki's lab and my lab. Crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. All right. I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monica. I just fucking did that! Why were they protecting him in the first place? This might be related to the case as well. One step ahead of you, game. Actually, two steps ahead of you. But you're like, nah, man, you gotta look at the shutter first. Not exactly, witness here. And if certain exos can, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Is it just like a safety precaution to get me to pay attention about the hammer? Because if it is, then I'm going to Maki's lab. All right, head into Maki's lab. All right. Speed of Maki's lab. Where the fuck is Maki? as though there's less weapons here than I remember. Yeah, because Kaito took a bunch of them out. Alright, everybody. Here. I hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? So, you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. It's because Kaito had them. Alright. Well, one of the bags is indeed missing. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identically to the one in the hangar. There's, there are cases for crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but dismantled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they are dismantled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaito before, there was three! And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have the crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, crossbow and the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught no. you. No. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Alright. Onward to my lab. Fuck is the steps. They're over here. Up we go. Spooky ass fucking hallway. Still want to know what the hell is in Rantaro's lab? Let me take a look at that door real quick. Has nothing to do with this investigation, but I want to look at the door. See, because I look at this and it's like, of course, there's blood. There's like fucking machetes. That looks like a mine. So, this is Rantaro's lab. I, I have a feel. There's either two possibilities. Either this is some sort of ultimate survival lab or fucking ultimate, uh, evil mastermind or some shit. And Kokichi's just a little fucking liar. Alright. Bottle of poison in the hangar, I need to confirm that it came from here. 
There's several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... The small bottle of poison I found must have come from oh. here. Hmm? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. Label says strike nine poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. Ah, shit. So Kaito is dead. Can't imagine that there's a small amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. So Kaito is dead. Unless for some reason fucking Kokichi was walking around with Kaito's jacket. You know? Well, I guess those are the only leads I really have right now, right? Something else I need to investigate. Like what? Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? They're antidotes. Hmm. Antidotes. I didn't know these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is each bottle is only one dose. And each one each only works. <clears throat> Each one only works on a specific poison. Well, well, I suppose that makes sense. There's plenty of different kinds of poisons, so it must be true for antidotes. Hmm. Strike nine poison and antidotes. Okay. So, is it possible that the strike nine poison is a is a um? culmination of all these of all of the poisons that this would be an antidote for they're all for different poisons what could that mean all right all right I investigated this room thoroughly I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito's dead on the contrary there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead Monikum is still moving around and the killing game hasn't ended and Kaito clothes were in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim must be... No. No. Too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still some time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something I should check again. Alright. Back to the hangar for me, then. There's no fast travel for the fucking hangar. There's no fast travel at all! Maki, are you outside this door? I find it weird that the game doesn't want me to fast travel. Okay. Well then I'll just stumble my way over there. I'm trying to think in my head right now. <laughs> trying to think of all the possibilities how this trial could play out. Because it's obvious that uh, Kokichi and Kaito won't be present for the uh, trial. Right? Seems like they both won't be present. But if that's the case, is Monokuma hiding one? Or is... Uh, or is he dead? I mean, they did the same thing in the first Dengarapa, right? When they believed Kyoko to be dead, and they threw her ass in the trash. <laughs> Said your, your wife is garbage. Just threw her in there. And then fucking Makoto was chosen, because they're like, You killed her! And then Alter Ego said, No! I will not let you die, Makoto. That was pretty hype. <laughs> I was like, Alter Ego! Oh shit! You saved me! Okay. 
Alright, so they wouldn't let me fast travel over here, so there must be a fucking reason, right? I was, I was assuming like a cutscene or something. Well, I call it cutscene, but someone would talk to me on my way here. Oh, where the fuck did you go, Kibo? What's going on in here? Someone better not be dead. Did you find Kokichi's body? What happened? What's going on? Shuichi! Oh, Shuichi, can you come with me? What happened? Is something wrong? Um... I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. Is it in the toilet? Is it in the sink? Shut it quickly and ran to the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Kibo? Alright, what you find? Uh... Hey. Was that there the first time? Kibo, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this. Huh? These are Kokichi's clothes. They're soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's clothes. But... Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I came to investigate. And why are they soaked? Someone flushed them down the toilet. Well... Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand to... Oh, come on! What the fuck are you, James Sunderland? Fucking Silent Hill 2, just like... I guess I'll just stick my hand in this fucking toilet. And I pulled out these clothes. Looks like they can't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Because that's where Kokichi belongs, in the fucking shitter. Yeah. Yes. It was very brave of me, and thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Don't fucking touch me, Kiba. Now, Sweetie, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Yeah, go take a shower. Clog the toilet, huh? This isn't the time to hesitate. Uh. Okichi's clothes found in the bathroom. Don't touch your fucking face when you're doing this, Suichi. What the hell is wrong with you? If they found... If we found... Fuck, man. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would What's do that? Matter? Something to matter? Please investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. Alright. Alright. Made up my mind. Grab Kikichi's so close. Why don't you investigate? Why don't you hold it for me? Spread them open. Huh? Uh, oh, that's not good. Oh, shit. There's a small hole in the back. Uh huh. Okay. All I'm trying to think about right now, though is I have a theory in my head. I don't want to say it, because it probably sounds stupid. But I'm just trying to figure out how does the cord to the press being cut in half correlate to it. And if my theory is somewhat right, that means Maki's the culprit. And, in, you know, and inadvertently, of course. There's a small hole in the back here. Another small hole on the sleeve. This is about the same size as the one in Kaito's sleeve. Okay. This is really fucking... Ugh. I... I don't know, man. Because now I'm also thinking about the, the fucking... You know, the, tr the trail of blood. But then, obviously, someone must have came in the bathroom and, like, pulled the fucking arrows out of themselves. But then, why flush this down? Who the fuck? What? Traces of blood around the hole, too. What does this mean? It could, could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. 
Ah, Kibo. Thank you. Thanks, this is very important. Well... I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. You dirty bitch. You done shoved your whole fist down the fucking toilet. No. And your hands aren't clean either, though. But if Gokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press, where the hell did Kaido go? Why doesn't he show himself? Why is this game still going? Even though the Mastermind's dead. Um... If this is awkward, Suichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're concerned about that? Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink and left. Kibo needs a whole scrub down. That's what he needs. So, uh... Hey, Maki. Okay? Maki? Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito's dead? Alright, well... Himiko, come clean with me. Did you bring a bag here? What? You and Kibo both look more refreshed now. Don't change the subject. Gross. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom. Even now, you can't help yourselves, huh? He doesn't have anything down there. Mew made sure of that. That's true. This is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Alright. Smoogie? Hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Why was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um, I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I see. I wonder why he... Why? I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. If he is in the hangar, his dead body is... Is it? Is it behind the hydraulic press? And no one noticed it? Are they both just under there? Suichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Huh? Seems like... I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to see. But I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us all from the start. Can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Huh? Of course, I don't mean to com I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know you're probably right. Samugi has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi's dead. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Right. Will I even have enough time to get into this trial? It's about that time. I have like about half an hour left. That's right! It's time for the class trial! Where hope and despair meet head on! Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there, got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished! <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time! Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. Then, at the trial, we'll know who the victim is. <sighs> All I can say now is, Maki, I hope you having that grenade wasn't a bad idea. That's all I'm saying. Because that's the only thing I can think about right now. Let's get the hell out of here. Jesus. I can imagine one of them dying, but I didn't, I wouldn't suspect both of them to go if that's the case. And I guess this time around we won't have a Danganronpa game where the bad character suddenly turns good. You know?
There's only five of us left. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. What's the point? I bet Kokichi's already there. You bastard. That's the mastermind of the killing game. He's waiting for us to arrive. I don't think so. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito's alive. Do you wanna die? Cut it out. You wanna die? Maki. Well... This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair? You don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after the trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Ugh. That's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. This is the whole point of the class trial. I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I'll have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice. Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair. But something's wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaito... say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those doors. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. That's nice! Ah! A battle like this takes me back, after all. Open despair, our natural enemies. Is this the first time we had a different scene change in the goddamn trials? Okay. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. <laughs> Only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Anyways, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? God, they really made this like the first game. <laughs> They're like, remember this? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi's scheming. We must do it. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Unbelievable. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated, not on my watch, you know. Shut up. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, let's get started. Mix equal parts, life and death, add a dash of lies and truth, bacon and fires of conflict. 
And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly dedicated class trial. And once more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I'll fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. Of course I would love to save my game. Why, thank you, my good sir. Why, hi diddly ho there, neighbor. All right, do I even have enough to buy a skill? Four, I have four points. What the hell can I do at four points? Oh, keyword, secret's argument, instant silence, silence all conversations except those on reticle, reveals V points during nonstop debate. Uh, well, I mean, just a peek. Terror screen will light up more. You know what, I'll just take that. Put that bad boy. All right, cool. All right. Well, let's get started. I only have like what thirty minutes left, so we're definitely not finishing this trial at the end of this stream. But you know what? Now's as good as a start as any. of the class trial. All the monocubs are dead. All my kids are dead. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the <laughs> They have question marks. And vote for <laughs> who Jesus it. fuck. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. Damn, Kibo came out swinging. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Seriously? <laughs> what happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki, calm down. I can feel your malice from all the way across the room. Aw, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances... I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Rare opportunity, my ass. You fucking killed a cadaver in the first game. Well, not really a cadaver, because, you know, they didn't donate anything. But you know what I mean. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Kokichi can't be the mastermind, dude. I don't believe it. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. And I'm saying the victim is unknown. But we need to be absolutely sure. 
If we don't positively identify the victim, the other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll find the truth. Okay. Alright. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. Well, there's evidence and for it. And the culprit must be Kokichi! We lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. <laughs> Victim. All right. So that's a pretty easy one. Just gonna use Kokichi's clothes on on the evidence. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. There we go. That's wrong. I knew I was gonna have to argue with Maki. Sorry, I gotta do this to you, girl. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. No, 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 no. He can still be alive. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. But we do need to somehow explain the amount of blood. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that Kaito's... But why is that? I thought he had an un I thought we had an understanding. I thought she wanted to believe Kaito's alive. Either way, it seems Maki's hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito's alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Yeah? What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. The hole, baby! That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaito I mean, had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. I mean, it could be the- I mean, we, we point this out earlier in one of the other streams, but the way Kaito wears his fucking coat is that he wears it with one sleeve just, like, sticking out. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Ah, shit, Maki, come on. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Oh, come on, Maki, don't say those hurtful words. Them's hurtful words. I might have to lose this one. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. Oh shit. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. See? The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. 
but Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard. Damn, girl, I'm pushing you back all the fuck the way over there. <laughs> I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. Yeah, he did. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. Yeah, you're right. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, uh huh. All that stuck out was his coat sleeve. All right. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Monkey claim appears solid. Okay. Oh, but yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, no. I get it. I get the logic on that. Odd manner. Yeah. He never put his arms through his coat sleeve. Right there. The fact that it has a hole in it means that his arm was in that one, and that he was shot with the arrow. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. Because it's was fucking just weird. Arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? What? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Just like his coat. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, come on. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you made up your mind that Kaito's definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. You fucking serious? Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Gotta be dead. Gotta be dead. Gotta be dead. No way you're alive. An exosol? What the fuck? You serious? What? Why is an exosol here? Haha. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? There's no voice modulation in there, right? Hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! And there's a voice modulation in there, some shit. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh <laughs> instead of cry. <laughs> That's fucking priceless. That shit is so shameless too. Jesus fuck. That was awesome. Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself! Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I don't believe it. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera! 
It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What, what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the access cell, hooked it up to the cord from his monitor. I still don't believe... There's no fucking way. What? Made a tape for us. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I want to review that footage. I'm not convinced. I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. <sighs> this video camera only has the basic functions. It doesn't matter if your camera has fucking editing software inside of it. You can hook it up to a computer whenever the fuck you feel like it. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. Yeah, you can. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Where's the proof? Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. Okay. Huh. There's no... Would you count the tablet as a computer? There's no way to do some crazy shit with that. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. He Which said in the academy. is 100% real. You can probably go outside with an XSL and find a computer. I don't know. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. I want to see the footage again. Oh, well, hold up. Thank you. Something doesn't add up for me. Shows the moment Kaito was crushed. Then where's the blood? Where's the trail? And the hydraulic press doesn't seem... The wire doesn't seem to be cut yet. Hmm. Was that? Is that really him? And I mean, hey, even back in the day, without, a, without recording software, you can still do a jump cut. If you just pause at the right time and then resume play later. So it's possible that he could have just done a manual jump cut. Poor Kaito. Once Kaito's body was out of frame. I believe he died such a horrible death. I believe he died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Are you okay, Himiko? Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us all that... <clears throat> if he had just told us all that... He was- wait, what? He had just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. 
So what would he gain from killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh, man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. It's too fucking easy. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. The remnants of despair were never like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. I think the only remnant of despair that truly got tired of it was fucking, what, Monica? <laughs> she said, fuck it, I'm going to space, bye, bitch. Oh god, that means she's still alive, probably. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! Seriously? That contradicts what you said previously. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. Maki, stop it. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Uh-huh. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. That's true. Which just leaves Kokichi, then. Then the culprit is... 
Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. That's wrong! I love how I... My mind was just like, last second. <laughs> The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. I know Maki's gonna bring it up. She's gonna be like, the cord was cut, jackass. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Aww. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. I didn't think she would go there herself. Okay. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and the Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there's a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. Then it's somewhere around the hydraulic press. The poison! Oh, really? We're gonna do that? It's various kinds of poisons that. Uh, oh no! But it's not in his fit. Oh wait, actually, that was the wrong. All this stuff was poison, huh? All right. He said, near the press? The fuck are you on about? Near the press? Wait, what? What? What the fuck is the question I'm even trying to answer here? Oh no! Okay, hold up. What clue suggests that the cause of death was not the crush, was not being crushed by the hydraulic press? Well, I mean, we can talk about his sleeve again, if that's what you want to do. Really? I was wrong! Are you going with this, Suichi? Oh no! He said it was near the press. What the fuck was? All right, so I'm gonna assume that anything in the bathroom wasn't near the press. This is it. Really? Okay, I didn't think we would be reusing that. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. Okay, well then we'll just do the little hole right there. There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. 
that's a small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with a weapon. I say nothing about no weapon. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Do, do, do your best shot, Himiko. That happens to me already. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you the weapon that left a small hole. Ha da 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 da. This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Um... There's a big question mark here. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow? What a mystery, right guys? If... Who else but you could have done it? If Kokichi if never used the flashlight, fired. the flashback light, From inside the he wouldn't know what Kaito. the hell we're talking about. We couldn't go in the hangar! The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Okay. I wonder who shot Kaito. What a story, right, guys? But you could have done it. The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kokichi. That's a lie, and you know it. That's wrong. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! What did you say? But put plainly, that means. It seems Shuichi it means wants to make fucked. one of us the culprit. Is that it? Oh, come on, Maki. Is that what a detective does? That's a low blow. Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. It's not fair, Maki. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let Despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? What? <laughs> what? See? 
Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. I didn't say you did. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Damn, called her out. Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? Kibo, thanks for having my back on this, man. It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? Damn. <laughs> could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit, I swear! Damn, Hibiko. Why am I a suspect? Anyone oh my could have God. entered my room. Guys, shut the fuck up. Stop it. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit. the culprit. Mass panic debate. Fuck. I remember when Suspect, because I was in the hangar. Chill out. I if was only replenishing my magic. What do you mean? Then explain the crossbow. Magic. There's a good I magic source around here. Then who is the number one suspect? suspect? Fuck. What? I missed? And I was the one who shot him. Mm -hmm. What? I was wrong. Why am I number one Jesus suspect? Fuck. Because I was in the hangar. If I you were all in the What do you mean? Oh, oh, There's a good I magic source around here. Doesn't matter at all. So I went then there who? I'm the number one suspect. There we go. I heard it. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. But she can't do that. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. <laughs> what? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Come on, Himiko. Just say the truth. It's fine. I know you're not the culprit. Decided then. But wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! Is it true? <laughs> we know it's not. We know it's fucking true. She's innocent. Can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspicious. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. 
Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm. Another true statement. Where is uh and crossbow? That's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. One hundred percent exact, Amundo. Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, Kokichi won't shut up! <laughs> Get I love Himiko going off. It's kind of hilarious. I'm not the culprit. All right, I'm gonna try crossbow what with the uh, with her saying she didn't use it because it was dismantled. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. There we go. I agree. Don't worry, Himiko, you're innocent. I believe in you. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately. She couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? But she didn't. She didn't teach me that! Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So, I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please. Can you tell them the truth? I don't think Maki can be so petty. She's like, no. Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then... Why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? So Kaito can use it. I was asked to. Did Maki ask you to do it? Perhaps the person who asked. Maki? Was it Maki? Why would I ask for such a thing? I don't know, you know that he can make it. Damn it! I guess, you know, the only other option is Himiko scouted the area out before. That's it! That means she made two trips. Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. <laughs> but I like you. What the fuck? Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. <laughs> what the fuck kind of stupid shit is this? Maybe Kaito's trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't worry, I'll do something about all this. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to like have a little peek see, see if Kaito was wearing his jacket at the time, but you know. Obviously he was wearing his jacket because we saw him in the press, so fuck it. That's a promise. I'm overthinking things, that's what's happening. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sorta of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. Oh, Himiko, at this point I can't let you die. You're too precious. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like! What the fuck? This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, 
I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. And I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him across. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Jesus. Oh, you're so precious. Um, that one part was, uh, you know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. So the poison we brought wasn't fatal. Well, I said we. Gah. The poison that was there wasn't fatal. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. Wait, so does that mean he had the poison on him to begin with? That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. There's proof of that. The three arrows, right? What? I'm very responsible that Kokichi shot all three arrows. Yeah, but if you count the shots, wouldn't it be one in Kaito's arm, two on Kokichi? I was wrong! What? Okay. What evidence shows that Kaito shot Kokiki with the crossbow? Oh, so we're just going for... Okay, well then, it's Kokichi's clothing. Where the fuck is his clothing? This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? <laughs> you said you sure? Huh? What? I'm not sure about that one, in? Chief. As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. And the fucking Kaito's voice came from it earlier too. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier. Didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? I mean, that was pretty obvious earlier. I, I thought everyone was kind of on that, you know. Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. Why the f- <laughs> But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The luminary of the stars has arrived! 
This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Oh, come on. Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. Oh, fuck off. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaito's alive after all. No. Maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story... I mean... If you are truly paralyzed in there, you wouldn't be able to speak, right? Does the story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well, well-reasoned answer to that question. I can't look away from the truth. What? Oh! What? I can't answer that! I won't answer it, you can't make me. What's the matter, Suichi? You just gotta say it with confidence. You can't look away from the truth. Are you fucking serious? Most of the evidence we have right now is just a Kaito's victim. Are you fucking... I'm so confused. Trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Already? All right! Let's give it everything we've got! Wait. Who's on my side, then? Is it just me against everyone? They're lifting up the fucking Elk XSL, too. Jesus Christ. Oh, Maki's on my side now. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I've got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes, too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind. Lucky! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I've got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Come on, Maki. You and me. To the fucking end with this shit. To the moons. 
to the stars. Or guide to the stars. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence... The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. That was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. <laughs> True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! Okay. I'm really stretching out this stream time, by the way. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? As if you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi, too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Okay. Still, only one arrow was fired. Oh, so how could shit. they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. Well, obviously, uh, gonna put that on Himiko's statement. But only one crossbow. The other two are still. Still. Only one. There you go. That's wrong. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean one arrow? Hmm? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow. Then where the fuck? Wait, what? Okay, then where the other ones come from? Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Emiko said she only brought one. What's going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko's lying. There must be some angle of this we haven't considered yet. What is it? Could have happened. Think. I need to think. Three, two, 
I can't even think where the fuck three arrows came from. I just straight up missed that. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? Is one. Is it possible that the Exosols had spare arrows on them? inside the hangar from the start. I'm gonna say no. I feel like they weren't. And by from the start, did they mean start of the confrontation or start of the trial? Well, not trial, investigation. Okay. I'm gonna assume start of the confrontation. For that one. Who brought the two arrows? Well, it has to be Kokichi, right? We know that an Exocell went into the hangar. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaito was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? That would explain why the, why the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the control panel was bashed up. Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric Maki, barrier you're looking more suspicious. Hangar. I don't want to say it was you, but god damn it. Yeah, that hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel that there might be another way, some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. What method did the third party use? Hangman's Gambit! I'm gonna go with Hammer. Is there a... Is there an H around here? So confused for a moment. How the hell do you spell that? An exercise. So yeah. I see now. That's 
yet. The Exosaw. The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosaws, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosaw. I saw an Exosaw enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system at Electric Barrier wouldn't react to an Exosol. So, you know, is there a sensor for people? After all, the hangar is where the Exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an Exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an Exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Okay. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the Exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an Exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. What the fuck? Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosaw and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's... Not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying... What are you trying to hide? And why? Why won't you tell me? You went to do it yourself, didn't you, Maki? That's why you didn't have your hammer. If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. What? Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. That's wrong! Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. It was stashed in the corner. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? <sighs> Come on. The identity of the third party. Actually, the... Hey, hey, fuck. <laughs> had a hard time reading from him. I had a stroke. The Electro Hammer giving us a clue. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning, when we went there, there were only three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. Well, it would be one person. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's you! Maki, come clean, man. Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? 
What are you saying? I'm not saying you're the culprit. I'm just saying you probably knew Kaito was dead to begin with. Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful. Electro hammers run out of batteries. Use it against alcohol, runs out of juice in one shot. You'll be fucked. The electro hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... The only person who came up with the plan beforehand was Maki. Maki, where's your hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather use a weapon I'm... I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. I got this! <laughs> Check this knife out, dude. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. Maki? Come on. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. That's why you were so insistent that he was dead. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your magic. Oh, come on, Maki. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an Exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. Yeah? I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! I know you're not the culprit. I'm not saying you are. I just want the truth. You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. You're right. All right. I'll I let it regress me. Hammer. Maybe I can get further that way. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. Oh, no! Okay. All right. I thought it was one of those instances, because they did it before. Oh, shit. Well, I already fucked up. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. She's not listening to me. But I can't back down here. Really? Well, that's my last. I used the electro hammer, and I used the exosol to enter the hangar. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. There we go. Shit. The crossbow is not the murder weapon. What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Fuck. An arrow to each of those spots. Damn it. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Wait, That's what? why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Is it gonna regress me? Oh shit. Hold up. Uh poison. Mini poisons ten uh, poison. Strike nine. Seems some time, strike nine. Put a small amount. Okay, cool. I just don't want it to knock me back, the okay? Left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I missed! Fuck! That's why the crossbow can't be the murder I'm so- weapon. dude, I'm so used to it. Fuck. I'm so used to Danganronpa 2 that you didn't have clothes. to aim the fucking truth blade or whatever. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots. Fuck. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. There we go. I'll cut through your words.
It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki? Maki, do you have a rebuttal? Please have a rebuttal. What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... really the culprit? She can't be. There's no way she is! As... Why would she kill Kaito? Uh, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the Mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki's talking about must be... All of us. That's it! Maki ain't no fucking way, man. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Maki, tell me I'm wrong. Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Come on, Maki. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy... could be pretty stubborn. Then, what really happened? Maki, please tell us! Please! And so, Maki began what the telling fuck? the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock! Don't just start narrating things, you're ruining the mood! Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring, either. All right. Would you like to save your game? Of course I would. Woo! Talk about a wonderful breakpoint. And with that, I'm going to have to end this stream here. I am way over my streaming time. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to finish this fucking trial. Didn't think I would stop right here, though. But that's going to be it for Danganronpa V3 tonight. I really want to keep playing this. I need to get to the end. I, I don't. Maki can't be the culprit. Come on. It's Maki we're talking about. But, I guess we won't find out until then. So, you know, in the meantime, you guys can check out the YouTube channel. Uh, 
all of the streams for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Ace Attorney trilogy has been uploaded, so you can enjoy that full playthrough. Uh, while that's going, I'm going to be uh, continuing the Psychonauts 2 playthrough, and I'll probably uh, start uploading the probably the Zelda stuff that I have. If not the Zelda stuff, then maybe something else that I have. But, you know, that's the plan right now. Next stream, and, you know, if anything happens, you know, later this week, I might stream, um, you know, before the initial plan time. But if that happens, I'll notify people through the community tab on YouTube or Twitter. So you can follow me on Twitter there if you want that notification. But right now, for, uh... Right now, what the plan is, is that the next stream will be on Monday next week. If you're on the West Coast, if, you're, if your time frame is PST, it would be Monday around 11.30 at night. Or maybe 11 o'clock, I might start early. You know, and if you're on the East Coast, it would be Tuesday at 2.30 in the morning or 2 o'clock. So, yeah. So, for everyone who came and watched live... Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. For those watching the VODs, I hope it's enjoyable for you. And for those watching on YouTube, um, try and catch it live, right? You guys don't get to see the playthroughs until it's completely done and uploaded on YouTube. So, there's that. Also, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe if you want to help the channel out. Because, you know, <laughs> that's how YouTube works now. You gotta become a... You gotta become a... A like whore. You gotta do anything for someone to hit that thumbs up. But, until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off